hello guys welcome back to my channel today we'll be looking at how to use rival pod as a state management tool in our flutter app and here i've just created a basic code my material app which this is the home page and i have a scaffold and an elevated button in the center which is this and here we'll go to the counter now you may be looking at it that this is just a normal counter app but believe me when i say you really need this to understand the basics of driver pod it covers all the basics of driver pod that you need in your floater app and without wasting time let's get started so as i was explaining elevated button here and this is my counter i have an app bar and the text with the floating action button so what we need to do add the driver pod and the flutter driver pod dependency in your postpeg.yaml file and then import it here import rival pod flutter rival pod okay and after you do that i want to create a state and if you really need to understand some things here so first of all i'll be creating a provider now there are different types of provider there's a provider the state provider future provider stream provider and the likes change with fire provider but in this video we'll mainly be using the state provider so i have a plugin which i use for my rival pod you also check especially on vs code you see many plugins for your rival pod so i'll just call the state provider and i'll call it my provider okay and then here i'll just have zero to be my initial value okay now this is my provider now how do i use it in my flutter app and why are we using a state provider because a state provider is just we want to monitor the changes what is going on in the state and everything so here we'll call where is it my stateless widget if you want to use it in your flutter app provider is using something called the consumer widget so yeah i'll change this to consumer widget and i'll need a new parameter here which is the widget ref i'll call it ref now what does ref do ref is a way to like apply and see what is happening to your state what is happening to the provider you called up here my provider and before we can notice any change or do anything to our provider we need to add to wrap our main run up with the provider scope provider scope okay and let's make this a constant all right so after doing that we need to restart our app and we have restarted so how do i use how do i show the my provider in my states my consumer widget I'll, I'll do that now so yeah i'll say final count equals to ref dot ref dot you can see we have many things we can use but i'll be using the watch and which provider do i want to watch my provider now why am i using the watch the ref dot watch is simply saying that we should watch for any changes in the provider and then when there's a change we will rebuild the widget when there's a change in our provider then we will rebuild the widget so then inside my text i'll use the count and because we need to have a string so i'll change it to dot to string and if i save it you can see we are not having any error we I mean, look as if nothing has changed yet but now this is not the ad coded zero but this is the zero from our provider now to start working with our floating action button we call ref dot read 
why am I using Rev.read here? Rev.read is different from Rev.watch in a way that Rev.read does not rebuild any widget. It just applies changes to a widget like is you use Rev.read in places like on click on when you click your button like now it should apply changes to your provider so yeah i'll have rev.read and then we'll get we notify the count count dot okay let me see my provider dot notifier so we notify the provider and here yeah, we'll get the state and add one to it that's just what we want to do we want to be adding one to our provider now if i save this and i come here if i click here you can see it is changing without even using a stateful widget only for our set state or anything and if i leave this page and go back to the counter app you can see the state is preserved everything is there if i leave here and go back the state is still there so now how do you clear the state i will show you this in the home page because i want to show you that you can work with your provider anywhere in your flutter app on any page of your flutter app so i also change this home page to a consumer widget by the way if you have the driver port plugin you just need to write consumer widget and it will create it for you so I have widget ref and i'll create another button so let me turn this to a color I mean, like this alignment dot space around and cross as this alignment the center all right so i'll copy this ctrl c and ctrl v now this one will reset the count reset count and when we click it, we'll be resetting the count. Now, how do we reset the count? We just call ref dot refresh, and it will be my provider. I want to refresh the state of my provider. Now, if I save this, my own page, we have two buttons now. If I go to the counter page, I have, let me just increase it a little bit. And if I come back here and reset the count if i go to the counters page now you can see we are starting from zero let's check that again now we are starting from zero what if you don't you want your counter to just to not keep the states when you move to another page but just want it to be able to dispose itself not keeping the states there's a way you can do it so you come to state provider here and you add dot auto dispose and if you save this now you go to counter page okay so we have to restart i think okay and i come here seven and go back to the page you can see it is starting from zero so this is just the basics of what you need in for river pod how to use it in your flutter app in the next videos i hope to be making more river pod tutorials because i love river pod actually and then i'll be explaining some terms you should understand before you can really go deep into river pod also if there's any tutorial you love me to add any question you have on Viber Pod, can put it in the comment section. I will answer. And bye for now. I'll see you in the next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share. And also, the source code will be in the comment below and in the description below.
Thanks for watching.